Lucky them. There we go. There's that ugly looking man. Let's go. All right, so whenever you're ready, give us a countdown. All right, everyone. I'm uh, Shifty's Club on Twitch. Um, I do only uh, Pokemon speedruns blindfolded. Um, I don't do normal speedruns unless someone actually redeems it on my channel. But uh, So basically, this is all I do. Like, I don't do any other kind of speedrun. So... Uh, red version is the easiest to do um, obviously there's a lot of RNG that uh, goes into it and you're gonna see a lot of bad RNG I can promise you that right now so no there won't be no world record set because it's already as low as I can get it all right so looks like the winner was the Snorlax blindfold uh, yes it was <laughs> and uh, I'm going to get everything ready I've um, I'm going to be, you guys are probably going to hear um, f um, live split on my end telling me, you know, what what the time is. And, that. and then also got flow timer. Flow timer is basically like bop, 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 that tells me when to turn during a Nidoran Manip. Other than that, it's the only outside device I use. So without further ado, make sure everything is set because it's very important because there's a lot of times when things aren't set. All right. Make sure I have access to the F, the F, or the G6, G5 key. All right. Hopefully, I don't have to go to the bathroom in the middle run. I already used it before I came online, so. All right. Who's ready? In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Timer started. Um, right. Best of luck. We're starting it out here, just you know, learning about the world of Pokemon. <laughs> it's A versus A out there. So, anyone wondering, um, to do in that sequence, basically, I hear a pause, um, click, click. And then I go, um, click A for the, the text, start, and then um, I'll click for A, and then five clicks, and then do A again. When I got to here, it's basically, I count from the time I quit hearing music, I go one, two, three, and then I go up, one, two, three, four, hit the stairs, and I go one, two, three, four, five, four over, down, five over, up. <laughs> I should do it real fast. One, two. Okay. Hey, look, a squirtle. And it's named A. Who would have thought? I'd imagine that, naming it A. I wonder if it's fast or something. <laughs> I don't know if it's fast, but A, it's cool. So what got you into blindfolded speedrunning? Um, so a while back, my cousin and I saw um, some guy doing blindfolded Mario, and he was like, dude, you should do that with Pokemon. I was like 14 in middle school. So. Um, and then that's why I started doing like just blindfolded playing Pokemon. I didn't know what speedrunning was until 2020. Well, I didn't even know the community existed until 2020. <laughs> so. It's, um. Uh, it, it's it's kind of weird because, like, you hear most stories where people are like, uh, yeah, I've been doing this for years and years and years. And, yeah, I knew about this, but I didn't do it until the year. No. Like, I'm an old man who doesn't know hardly anything about technology. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, your average five-year-old knows more about technology than me. Well, 
Well, so far you're making it through the run, all right? Oh yeah, this right here is just easy for me because of my memory. So basically I have uh, meta-eidetic memory and what that does is I remember numbers and sequences very well. Oh no, yeah, of course. I can hear it. There's only two Pokemon that can pop up. I usually don't take that first one. I'll take this one instead. Because I'm closer to the, um... Um, Pokemon Center. And the reason why is if, uh... If I accidentally hit a level 5 and I can't run from it... Uh, I'm screwed. not fun. If I hit a level 4, the battle takes so much longer. Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, enter. And it only went 9 instead of 10. Sometimes it'll do me for one less, and it just sucks. Three, four, five. You want to avoid the, avoid the possible encounters as much as possible. Oh, yeah. And for anyone wondering, I literally just do this under the thigh. Just basically tap, tap, tap. the thing is, like, red is just the easiest Pokemon game to speedrun blindfolded anyway. Like, most people think, oh, yellow is pretty easy, but no. There's, um, in the routes that I use, there's a lot more art bad RNG. This one's only got, like, I want to say six really bad places of art RNG. And I'll get, I'll get to every one of them when they come up. first one that we come up against is Brock. Are you kidding me? Oh, now I'm in the grass. I could have sworn I went over four. Oh, I didn't go over far enough. I didn't go up. And sometimes you can't get lost in your thought, and it just gets you level. I can easily make my way back into whatever. It's because I know the maps like perfectly. Yeah, they match with enough practice. Oh yeah. Plus, all you gotta do is really just look at them. <laughs> as hard as that is to believe. <laughs> One, six, seven, eight. Same thing as before. That time 10 actually worked. 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. By 6 Pokeballs. Royson. Oh, I ran right into him. Wow. Okay. That's pure luck right there. And I'm going to go out of the route so he resets. Because I'm blindfolded and I can't s actually see this, so listen to the save. I'm going to hit G5 and start, and this is where my silence is golden because it's kind of, this is actually difficult. Alright, you can explain it once you get through. I can. So 
I didn't hold the uh, 12 long enough because usually if I hold it, it's just going to automatically go down one more. I'll, uh, I'll explain all that later. Are you kidding me? I know I'm holding that, right? Okay, let's do this again. There we go. Because it didn't reset or something. Because I didn't hear it. I have to simul reset. Sometimes I don't simultaneously reset it like perfectly like that. It usually doesn't take me this long. Like I literally did this like pre-checkout and I literally did it first try. So Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh my god. Apparently I didn't go up far enough. Or I hit the wrong slot. Nah, if I hit the- I wouldn't have hit the wrong slot. It'll still give you the encounter. I'm guessing my controller might have accidentally went like down when I was doing that because that should never have happened. And I'm not fat for you, I promise I'm not fat for you. Oh my god, is the NPC right there in the hit the NPC's probably in the frame. There's no way that I'm I'm not hitting that. If the NPC is in the frame, I can't actually do this. I have to reset it. Okay, there we go. Hopefully give this. Maybe I did it fast enough. <laughs> nope. You gotta remember how many balls we got left. Okay. So we got four left. Okay. That's fine. I hate you guys have to sit through that. Okay. Alright, so now that we have our Nidoran, what do we do there? Okay, so basically we need Nidoran in order to um, uh, get through the game because Nidoran has uh, Nidoran involves in a Nidoking, which can use a move called Horn Drill, and we're going to use this through pretty much the entire game. But the reason why Nidoran over everything else is because Nidoking can be got at level 16 via um, Moonstone. Um, let's see. Let's see. Hang on. Let's see. I got one more thing I gotta count. Let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. Okay. So basically, Needle King is the strongest possible Pokemon um, early game. But because it also learns horn, and horn drill, it makes it really good um, for uh, late game. Because because it's faster than most Pokemon, just nat naturally, um, we can horn drill almost everything. And the things we can't, we can just simply hit them for super effective attacks thanks to X items. Right on. I always forget how the horn drill works in Gen 1. Okay, okay. So basically, horn drill, um, all uh, horn drill, fissure, and um, guillotine all have uh, accuracy of thirty. And um, hang 
and basically uh, using a single X attack will um oh crap um using a single X attack will take the accuracy up to 100 regardless what you're using so you can basically just abuse it that way I am poisoned imagine that First attack poison, that's stupid. Please don't kill me. Oh my god. Oh, great on one. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think this. Ah. Uh, let's see. I don't think this will kill. It might, but I doubt it. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. So unfortunately, we have to do something else. And I've never actually done this in a speedrun before because this has never gotten me to this point. But I'm gonna do it. Nidoran is going to be over-leveled. And no, I've never done this before, where I'm going backtracking. I've never, ever done this. So yeah, this is as new for me as it is for you. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. It gives you a few extra tiles when you're bouncing. This is me trying to memorize where everything's at on the map. Ten. Okay. I should run into this guy. Okay. So I wanted to avoid the first one because he has um, a Kakuna, which is. Um, um, it uses hard and it's harder to knock out, so. Uh, so I go. Tail whip. Tail whip. Yeah, so this is a roller coaster ride for me as much as it's for you. I'm not, I did not ever expect this to happen, guys. I really didn't. Yes, I know exactly what's going on. So we're circling back to get more XP on the Squirtle because it missed the XP on the other. Yeah, and I have to use Bubble for Brock. Correct. There's level seven. We're not gonna swap. We're just gonna attack since we're at level seven. We should be good here. Should take three hits to knock out. Maybe four if my tech is bad enough. And this is me doing the math in my head. I just don't even know what's how, Did I miss any tackles? I didn't see any Gen 1 misses. I think it's just... Oh, okay. Not... You're, you're, you're doing about a sixth every attack. 
Okay, his attack is literally like bottom, bottom tier. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> but it's fine. Gotta go around. Okay, if I remember this correctly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12? Nope. It's 14, okay. So we'll hit this. Hit that. Okay. No! Oh my gosh, oh my god. Please run away, please run away, please run away. That's <sighs> not good. Oh my god. But it probably would have got me. The, the problem is, it would have got me there faster. But I can't lose too much uh, money. Yeah, well, I, that would not have been good for your money. No, I'm like, I'm only losing like a like a one or two hundred, but every single dollar counts. So I'd have to find an extra trainer just to get the money up. Not the best thing in the world. So, sorry for the two hour, 30 minute estimate. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this because this is gonna be safer. I'm using potions. I also need to throw away the antidote. save here. This is the RNG I was talking about. Um, so my items, so one, two. Oh. Nidoran is now at level 7, if I had to guess. 6 or 7. I just win. And it was by. Okay, cool. Yay. Well done. The first badge. Yeah. Explain some of those things that are going on there. Okay. Trying to avoid bide because yeah. if, if I had to avoid the, 
Bite is an attack that where it stores energy every time you are 10 minutes and 2 seconds behind at Brock. Yeah, it's uh... And that would have, and that would have killed your Squirtle. Yeah. Poor Squirtle. Would not have been a good day for old Squirtle. battle it's easier to explain stuff is however much damage you do and deals it back double. So poor Squirtle would have definitely been, you know, killed immediately. Uh that is not what was supposed to happen, but okay, we'll, we'll go with that. Um I am just messing up all over the place. I swear I've done this a million times. Okay, so uh leader. Attack. One attack, kill. Or that one. Okay, so it is a three. Okay. So I'm still level eight, I think. Or oh, I use tackle one. Okay, I use tackle. That was that was the reason why. attack kills. Okay. Alright. So now that I'm horn attack, I should be it. Okay, so I forgot to swap Nidoran and, um, and, um, Squirtle when I was doing the menu to make it the where it's, um, does it ask you to swap? Probably jump in and say that your horn attack learn didn't go through. My uh, my what again? You didn't learn horn attack. Oh my god. Okay, that's why. I should have learned from it, I don't see how I could have. So I healed the wrong one. Okay. So that's that's that explains it. That's why I saved because this is the second RNG spot. Just 
the red attack, and I'll explain that in a little bit. Fully tackle. That Nidoran is past level 8, isn't it? I said... So you're telling me Nidoran does not have horn attack right now? I am telling you that is the case. That is not even possible. Unless you mashed incorrectly for it. No, he doesn't have horn attack, period? You have Leer, Tackle, and two empty spaces. Okay, that is literally not- oh, I don't see how that's possible. Wow. Okay. So he's not at level 8. You're level 11. That's- okay, that is not possible. That is literally not possible. Hang on. Is it okay if I- like, okay, so what- I'm a level 11 and there's no- no horn attack. That is not Correct. possible. That is not possible. But it's Leer, and then ta oh my god. This get I don't know what's wrong with this game. Literally, I, I, I swear. Everyone look it up. It's supposed to be a hornet- oh my god. I can't, I can't run through the game. <laughs> I might be able to pull some maneuvers though, let's see. Um... That's why. That's why. Okay. Is someone in is someone in chat explaining it? Yeah, I remember someone reminded me of that Gen 1 mechanic. I I I've, I've only run Gen 8, so I don't really know a lot of the older games. Oh my god. Okay, so. So I can either continue this very, 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 very slow pace, or do, um, or, sh or should I bring a save state into this and continue from a save state? I think it would be in our best interest to make the save state call. Save state call? Okay. Let's, let's ah. complete the run. Ah. Yeah, because... That's like RNG that even I never see. Let's see here. Oh no, that's that's the wrong one. Let's see. Let's see. Kill me this one. Okay. So that's the guy that I um this guy's the guy I just beat right here. So. Yeah. All right, and we're back on. This is so. This is so weird. Like, I've literally never had that. Like, that's one of those Gen One programming oversights where if you learn. If you level up twice, it skips the le it skips learning the attack. It's literally you just skip out oh, yeah. the level. It's crazy because I've never I've never done that before. This is literally the first time, and I've done this over a thousand times. 
it may have just been in the audible on your going to the other trainer. Yeah. It's alright, we'll make it through now. Hopefully. Oh, me. So now I should be able to fly through it a lot faster. I thought it was uh, going to tackle, but I didn't. <laughs> it's all good, we're making it through. Step in here for a quick blurb. As a reminder that each year Midwest Speed Invest partners with, VG with video games and music convention, more commonly known as VGMCon. Our next on-site event will be Mid-Spring Speed Fling 2022. will take place at MG or VGMCon in Minneapolis. April 1st through April 3rd. For information and how to register, go to VGMCon.org. And that was not an April Fool's joke. Because, you know, no, April 1st, not. April 1st. Alright, so beyond this game, what other Pokemon games have you attempted blindfolded? Every Gen 1 through 3 game. Right or on. Or main series game. Which, what is your what is your favorite run of the of the bunch? This one, probably. It's just what would you say is your is the most difficult? Um I wanna say yellow. And the reason why is because there's so much like random RNG. That you, that you just can't uh, get over, and then there's a lot of like real places, a lot more places to run can die. Probably the one that has the most streamlined is Pokemon Crystal when I do Custom Starter Alakazam. This is the most streamlined, and it's just like very little places where you can screw up. Went too far. Or I didn't go them for now. Okay, that's why. So, let's see. I'm not going to be able to hear, and this is why I'm doing this. Hearing part is very important. I'm gonna reset and I'm gonna do a uh, Sparrow Manip. And this one is very easy. Assuming that the guy's still, you know, looking the right direction. Got it. Let me just hold over. <laughs> I said we're, uh, are we manipulating for a specific Spiro or just making sure we Annie's, get the catch? And, yep, and making sure we get the catch. Look, what I did there is called, um, uh, Manip Ball. And what that means is basically, um, um, I enter the game as fast as possible, and I get to the, um, battle as fast as possible. And as soon as I get to the battle, I'm holding down an A, and then I'm uh, as soon as it hits the gets to the screen, I swap from down to right, and it does like an ex it does like an extra A press that way. I don't know why or how. I just know that's how it's done. And it took me four days, at least eight hours a day, um, trying to find that minute. I just literally kept going until I found one. Hey, welcome to Rock Tunnel, everyone, and oh, all yeah. the Zubat. Yep. Oh, here's Zubat, there's Zubat everywhere, Zubat. 
Oh, I thought it was past. I didn't think I was past that screen yet. Go grab water gun. That's very important because I can't beat rock type Pokemon without it. Many bats. So little time. Yeah. Trust me, this drives me as batty as it drives you guys. I know, I'm, I'm the worst when it comes to jokes. Oh my goodness. The worst part is when you're trying to do specific movements, like I was trying to count two from the wall, and it gave me an encounter, so I have to go back to the wall. And hope that I got it right. As we're making it rock, rock tunnel, don't forget our runs coming up. We got Ness underscore with bug snacks after this, and then controlled by Bucky. And so finishing out with Psycho Nuts 2 Kinky Cadence. But if we can get us up to $2,000, we will reveal our bonus endgame. Whatever could it be. I'll do- I'll say this, if, uh, if everyone can get it up to two grand, like, I'll come back if they want, and I'll do- I'll do literally Unknown Dungeon blindfolded. That sounds terrible. <laughs> it is. If you guys can do it during this stream, I'll do it. I mean, don't mind me, like, hey, I'm- I'm here for the cause. If it gets y'all money. So, so don't forget to get those donations in. Perhaps you wanna, you know, donate the favorite number of your Pokemon in the donation? What's your favorite Pokemon, Shifty? Snorlax, the Pokemon whose blindfold I'm using. And uh, Snorlax is kind of like me. He loves to eat and sleep. But if you mess with his breakfast, he'll pulverize and pancake GSU. <laughs> And that's a hundred and that's a hundred and forty-three, so yep. get your donations in. There we go. Of course, I was right at the wall. And here's another safe spot. This is probably one of the most important. Team Rocket Grunt with a Rattata and a Zubat in front yep. of us. This is gonna suck. Zubat can supersonic us. And 55% of you won't understand why. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's because Super Sonic is 55% accuracy. It, it used to be some kind of meme. 
I forget where I saw that, but... This leads us to be in confusion, which is not something we want. Nope. I'm confused. And I hate confusion damage. Not good. Okay, hit him. Okay, good. Okay. Start. And I'm gonna go... Save just to make sure, because... This, I don't know how many Pokeballs the save state has, so... But, should be, let's see... Um, So this right here, where can he get to Nidorino? And then we will teach it Water Gun, and then use Moonstone to evolve the Nido King, and then teach Nido King uh, Mega Punch. What does our main suddenly get a lot larger? Hang on, say that one more. Okay, say that one more time. I said our main suddenly got a lot larger. Yeah, literally. Basically, that whole series of events is our first big menu, and we try to save as much time as possible by doing menus like more convinced. Um, I'll just go ahead and Mega Punch. Make this easier, unless it wants to miss every time. Oh, and I got disabled. Okay, not cool. It doesn't. Like, and this is what happens when I do speedruns, like, for charity. It's like, uh, we don't want you to do speedruns for charity. I'm like, but I want to. I like it. Nice it's... crit on the whole time. Oh, that's what it was. I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, so <laughs> there we go. So that should be back. Like, I can, I swear, I can literally play this game without actually paying that much attention to it. Three. Aww. Praise Lord Helix. Yeah. Hey, a Geodude. Not a bat. We... We accidentally kicked a rock instead of shoot a bat. Time there, I want to jump that ledge so I hit this wall instead of having to count down. Because otherwise, I'd have to count down. If I jump the right ledge, I'd have to count down and get my way. Uh, this one, I'm also going to use an audio cue. Okay, so he was in my way. That's not cool. Okay, he ne he never moves though when I do that. Never. Like this. Oh my god. You guys are witnessing literally like stuff that never happens. Ah, uh, marathon luck, be it as it may. Yep. 
Now here's where we're gonna get insta text. Actually, let's do that one more time. I gotta do it. Because my luck. Okay, now we can get into the text. Three, four, five. Should shoot right up and. Of course he's there! Oh my gosh. I don't- I don't think RNG likes me. I wasn't a good enough friend to him. The NPCs are just not wanting you to go places. Nope. Or perhaps they're more frustrated with you because you're just blindly bumping into people. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is- All right. I saved for this because of this bird right here. Okay, we don't want it to sand attack. Okay, good. Good, okay. So I'm gonna have a lot of damage, but at least I won't have to worry about sand attack. It's bad enough that you could just miss it random anyway, and let's just not reduce your yeah. accuracy anymore. For those curious what we're talking about the Gen 1 miss, um, the game is programmed between zero and is you know it's a 256 zero. To, the X zeros are a zero to 255, but it should have been they didn't program them correctly, so there's just a one in 256 chance that you just miss, mm -hmm. even if the move is 100% accurate. Yes, that includes Swift. It's one of the many interesting. Features, I guess you could say, of Pokemon Red. Yeah. Interesting doesn't describe it enough. Oh my god. I'd... At least I got him first try. So. I'm gonna do this just because. I'm gonna go ahead and heal, do Incitex again. This way, I don't have to accidentally go back and do it later. Cause like I, I get crit or something. Cause Pidgeot did a lot of damage to me. I don't have to be a mathematician to know that, <laughs> but I am. He's not in the way. Alright, now you guys are gonna see how fast the text actually goes through our entire the rest of their entire run. should be able to um, horn attack this thing to death, but apparently the game doesn't think these bugs are small enough. Alright. So I've usually got my timing down where I can time it kind of close and not have to maneuver too much with walls and stuff. Forget that we still there's a lots of uh, awesome incentives to donate into. We have the character outfit and game language bid wars for control any percent. Well, as Psychonauts 2 will have its uh, Jack Black song incentive. The game be donated through, and of course, don't forget we get the 2000 reveal the secret bonus game at the end of the marathon. Get your donations in. Let's go, yeah. I highly suggest getting those donations in. So here's another 
donation thing. If you wanna, like, if you donate and um, send a message, you can talk to me during the chat, like through chat through like this donation thing. Wait, come on! I hate this thing. You just need to punch it megaly, but apparently it just won't let you. Yeah. That's the one thing about 80% accuracy, it feels more like 50. Because actually what I do on my, uh, my channel is, I put it where it's like, a person can donate you know, like 25 bits to chat with me, you know. Like, you, you guys can do like the same thing with this if you want. Just be like, chat with Shifty. <laughs> Basically, each of these trainers, guys, uh, that I'm fighting, I use certain moves on each of them because some of them have certain damage ranges, some of them don't have ranges. Like, for example, like this right here, I could double horn attack it, but normally it can die to Mega Punch if I um, have a good enough roll. What are the math rolls here in Gen 1? Okay, um... I forget, I forget if there's at like 24? I forget how many rolls are in oh, Gen 1. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Like, I was, like, I've been told, like, the general, con general concept of it. Like, I honestly, like, don't know enough about this, except what people tell me, because, like, like for me, right, all digging through the notes, it's one in thirty-nine. In later gens, it's like Gen Eight. It's a one in sixteen roll at the end of, or the sixteen possible roll at the end of it. Okay. I believe it's Gen Two. It gets to twenty-four. Okay. Alright, uh, here is one of the water, one of the, uh, trainers we have to use water gun on. Put it in slot 2, and then just one-shots. Now, imagine if we could get water gun, like, before Brock. That would be nuts. Oh yeah. Can't you just Brock through walls to it? I mean, technically? <laughs> but that requires, like, a certain, um, hang on, um, which one of these am I at? Oh yeah, that's right. I like this trick. So basically, that re that requires me to have, like, a certain amount of, um, power points in one move. And, uh, I forget what it is. Like, someone tried to get me to do it, but I was just like... That blindfolded would just be boring to watch. It is but. probably my favorite glitch name of all time. Fair enough. Brock through walls, yeah. Try not to go to sleep, even though I have a sleep mask on. I was gonna say, it's probably the hardest thing here, is just keeping yourself awake through the runs. Yeah, I've actually fallen, fallen asleep during runs. As hard as that is to believe, I have. And one of my moderators had a field day in chat with it.
other than that, like, like, like this right here is, like, I'm glad you guys picked this over yellow, but I at least wanted to give you all the choice. Yeah, this is 100% the easiest game for me. Um, I'll go ahead and make a punch. Wow, I missed a lot of Mega Punches. I don't think I'd run out, but I'll find out. Good, okay. Yeah, I did that. Okay. So with Incitex, it's hard to learn Thrash because you have to hit A six times and it's just gonna Incitex it through, so I have to be very careful with how I do that. This genius literally got himself fused with a Pokemon. Okay. Ah. I don't know what happened. It's supposed to literally be walk up, hit the wall. Now we're just gonna make our way to um, this rocket. We're not even gonna grab it to text, it's not worth it right now. To fight him. Especially if we miss range and he ends up doing a critical uh, critical hit uh, karate chop. Okay, and we didn't miss it. But had I not, had I not healed, went back for the IT, he would have hit it. I'd have missed it, no doubt. Because that's just how it works. I right, jumped the sledge. I normally don't save when I'm doing regular speedruns, so if they if they, if they, if I die I die. So that's the Okay, there's 
focus on that. Okay. Okay. I don't normally walk to the bike shop to the gym like that, so... Okay, making it through. And now we're just gonna hope we don't get crit or speed drop by Misty. And what that means is must, Misty is starting to use this bubble beam. And if it hits and it drops our speed, then we die. So that's why I had to save for this particular run. Like if it was a speed run, then I wouldn't be doing it. If it was just a world record attempt, I wouldn't do it. But, you know. If you guys actually want to see a completed run, All up to RNG. Oh god, did she use X defend? Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, we got turn 4 thrash. We got it. You are 20 minutes and 17 oh seconds god. behind at Misty. 20 minutes. There's another badge down. 20 minutes behind. World record is 216.19, so it's telling me I'm on a 236 pace, but I could possibly get that down because I had some uh, hiccups in my world record, but I had a flawless um, I had an absolutely flawless early game, and that's why my world record is so low. get this full restore? I don't. To me, there's no point in getting it. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that gets us through the rock, basically. Juice Thrush. It gets real easy. Until we get to, um, Sulfur Tower. This is real easy. reasons that thrash is so nice because of its high battle power and the fact that it locks you in for a certain amount of turns and yep. it just saves the menuing. Yep. That's why you're so good at commentary and I'm like the world's worst when it comes to commentating. Oh, it's not so bad. Making your way through.
Okay, good. I was trying to make sure I had that memorized correctly. Super easy. The only thing that can possibly throw this battle off is a sand attack. Turn one that completely just chunks the battle. I shouldn't have said that because now it's going to happen. Oh my god. Let's see. Go one attack. Okay, good. Alright, easy battle. Okay, so... Alright, and now, we move Crash. So the reason we did that is because Thresh is guaranteed three turns. It might give me a fourth. So, um, I Mega Punch the Radicate to be safe. Because the last thing I want is to get confused and Bulbasaur Leech seeds me and then I just can't get out of confusion. smell someone. That just seems kind of weird. I don't know too many people that can tell other people by their smell. I mean, this whole interaction is, is confusing. As you sit there, you go through the boat, I'll fight your raven, he's like, smell you later, and then you go up there and you just kind of rub the captain's back, and he feels better, and he teaches you cut. Translation was could have been a possible issue, but I don't guess it really was. Just don't forget, just don't forget to pick up your Mew underneath the truck. Yeah. something. I don't know. I just need it to be there. Six, seven, eight. One, two. One, two, three. Up A. The trade spear for Farfetch'd. Where's my... I'm gonna put that on my desk so I can open this. Let's go, ducks. Mm-hmm. They call him. They call him ducks, but he can't quack. This is the worst thing. He is the leak duck. Crazy thing. I didn't even know what a leak was until like my interaction with Japanese people for the first time. 
and I was and I was like, oh yeah, you've never heard of like leakins? I'm like, no. They're not really they're not a very common thing in the states. Yeah. Five, up A, two, three, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold it down to three, bottom move, okay, B, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, up A, teach him that B. B, up, spam A, three cuts. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so what I'm doing right here is trying to find the trash can with a switch. This right here, there is no manip for me being a blindfolded seat runner. This is the second can 50% can of the time, usually. And we got it. Hooray! I'm gonna save... What an interesting puzzle. Just yeah. find the buttons under the trash cans. Hmm. <laughs> because that makes a whole lot of sense. Uh-oh. Oh, well. Hopefully we won't have to save before Surge. Surge is usually easy, but... There's a very small chance that we gym on this, um, thrash. Very, very small, and it only goes three turns. Actually, I'll go with the extra, extra safe route. That's probably Sonic Boom, because that's my luck. This should kill Pikachu, because Pikachu's got very, 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 very low defense. Hey, use quick attack. Okay. So I took a very safe route. And I'm gonna take a lot of damage there. You are 21 minutes and 21 seconds behind at Surge. So, only 21 minutes behind, that's good. That's going to be close to 2.30-ish. Forever, I'm not even kidding. Well, well, he talks forever. Let me grab a few blurbs since we don't have any donations in quite yet. As a reminder, kids fighting cancer are especially vulnerable group right now because of the treatments they receive can impact their immune systems. Many of today's cancer treatments include chemotherapy, radiation, and bone marrow transplant wipe out a child's immune system sometimes for years. After treatment is finished, it leaves them more vulnerable to not only COVID-19 but any other sickness or infection. Child undergo treatment for transfer spikes of fever often. Should have emerged through the last place that want well, any of us to be right now. The Children's Cancer Relief Fund is committed to a future where cancer can be treated more effectively without compromising a child's immune system. The pandemic is really a heightened the urgency of the urgency and need of these discoveries. What you watch right now has the power to make those treatments and cures a reality. Every dollar donates helps researchers secure an additional eighteen dollars in funding. Or 18, or excuse me, 1 billion in funding from the government from other sources. Every day, 43 children in the, U in the U.S. are diagnosed with cancer. Every week, 38 children pass away from cancer. Childhood cancer is the leading cause of death and disease by children in the United States. And the CCRF has, has funded over 40 new research initiatives in 2019. The Children's Cancer Research Fund is going to be doing even more of these things with streaming and gaming in 2022. We're starting a new brand called Creators Against Childhood Cancer to work with streamers, events, esports groups, and contact relators. 
be launching that in late January of 2022, so make sure you keep an eye out. That's pretty good, yeah. And now we have T-Bolt. Yep. So how difficult was the bicycle movement to learn? Oh, uh, not that difficult. Um, like... I suppose that this is all tile-based. Yeah, so basically, like... This right here is just like, if I get put to a point where I can't make my way, I just reset like one. And then, okay, then I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, start, um, let's see, it should be up and then it goes, okay, that's, that's very helpful, that tells me where I'm at. Start, down A, and then, uh, okay, so I'm on the wrong Pokemon, which means, yeah, so now I can go down, and do that. So basically, um, the bicycle movement, I have to hold B while I'm doing it to try to um, force it to only be one square. Uh, only move one square. But the thing is, it moves faster. The, the sprite itself moves faster um, when you're on a bicycle. So that's why I use the bicycle. But there's a lot of places I can't use a bicycle in this game. And you guys will see that. So I had to use Mega Punch because four Pokemon thrash guaranteed for three turns. run? Uh, menu. Menu for sure. Like... What is the menu you least, um... Ooh. Or menu instance that you like the least? Um... Uh, I'd probably say the, um... Double HM or even, uh, Fly Menu. But, um, basically, Double HM is where you teach Strength and Surf to Squirtle. And because Needle King can learn both of those moves, you might accidentally teach it to him. Or, you might get caught all the way up into the, um, menu. And just not even realize... Not even realize that you're at a certain point when you're not. And like when you're when you go into the mansion, it makes it really difficult. There's my repel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should end up right at his face. This literally is like a blindfolded thing, like the 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 cave itself is literally like a blindfold thing. Um, it's a dark cave, but you can't see anyway. So who needs flash? Yup. Hey Shifty, why didn't you grab flash? I'm like... And then I just sit in silence. <laughs> Wait for them to realize what happened. Because <laughs> that's what, um... Actually has happened on my, um on my Twitch before, where someone's like, 
Why didn't you grab flesh? Hmm, I wonder. There was, oh my god, literally everyone bullied that kid, but I had to put it into it. I was like, okay, 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 that's enough, that's enough. I was just like, I wouldn't let it happen, but at the same time, like... They can't see I was blindfolded. Uh, as we're, as we're ball bumbling in the dark, can I sneak in a quick donation? Yeah! Alright, I've got $20 from Dragons that says, These marathons are always my favorite of the year. Glad to make a contribution to this great cause. Also, good luck, Shifty. I have no idea what I'm watching right now. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate it. That brings up a little bit closer to our goal of 2000 to reveal the extra bonus game and plenty, still plenty of incentives to donate to as we get through the ends of Midwest Mini Fest, so please keep those donations coming. Who knows? That surprise game could be Pokemon Crystal Blindfold. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh... Okay, this I had to say before this. Okay, good. Because Audis sometimes does not, um... Doesn't, um... Uh, get kept, doesn't range, which means, like, a dying one hit. And then Bulbasaur bolts very, very seldom. But... This right here is so much easier. Start, down, down, A. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, go up. Down, over. Uh oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, okay. Had to make sure. One, two, three, four, over once. Hit that wall. Oh, Rappel ran out. Interesting. Oh, yeah, because I was making my... I had to... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Now I know why. This is one of the bad things about blindfolded speedrunning, is you have to be aware of everything. And then, here I am literally just chatting, not even really caring that much about what's going on. Because this is supposed to be the easiest, one of the easiest parts of the game, outside of that one oddest trainer. like PSR speedrunners in here and then actually I was like I, I one time asked I was like hey all five of you could uh, do that one that I did a long time ago that, uh, one speed uh, one marathon I did but now nah, they didn't want to it's all good making it through here yeah Okay, so the I had to run up there. Alright. So now we face a gambler with a grab in the whole fix. So what I did what you guys just saw was me literally once I hit one wall after I hit the cave, it's literally down wall, wall, down wall, left wall, down wall, left wall. It's literally just a series. So. Bubble Beam does not 
guarantee a one shot on Vulpix, so we do Thrash. As hard as that is the bully. It's the better special defense on the Vulpix. Since we're having this is Gen 1 and the typings determine physicality or special. Actually, it wasn't made until Gen 4. Good way to remember what's special, what's physical, is that all the EV types, all the evolution types are special plus dragon. So we count 25 steps to grab something. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then that. <laughs> now we get on bicycle. Now that we counted, we don't need a count now. But we will want to see if this. Uh oh, I went too far. Yeah, I'm all the way over there. Are you kidding me? I went to the second one. Yeah, it should just be this. Hit this wall. Hit this wall. Hit the stairs. Okay. One. Down. A. We're gonna sell that nugget we picked up. B A one two three by TMO seven, which is horn drill. Come on, hit. Yeah. Thirteen of these. Best, tra best people or trainers you face in Pokemon Stadium whose strategy is I have all the one hit KO moves. <laughs> yeah. And his line is just come on, hit! <laughs> yeah. I remember that trainer. I was always wondering, so, I'm uh, like, I'm like, why so, would he do so, that? So what are you gonna do? Uh, blindfolded stadium um I could I've wanted to get all of the main series games done so that way I could hold world record for each of them because if you love RNG then uh, oh, yeah. that's the game for you there's a lot of guys who want to do like this um what's it called the uh um, challenge cup blindfolded and for me I'm just like I'm not interested because there's no way to guarantee anything like you have to but if it's like taking like a custom team absolutely build 10 custom teams and just go for it I would gladly do that Should have bought 11x accuracies, 6x specials, and 2x speeds. <laughs> now 
not a cow. Getting up on the one of the tougher menus in the run. So if I did everything right it should be pretty it should be pretty simple. So I'm gonna go down. Make sure at the top of the menu. Okay, so down select one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, select one, two, three. Nope. I did that wrong. I did that wrong. I did that wrong. I did that wrong. I should go one. Two. There we go. That. Then go one, two, three. Okay, so down. And we're gonna teach rock or yeah rock slide over uh, that. So. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Swap X accuracy. One, two, three, learn fly. It's such a pain, but eight, four, five, six, seven, eight to the stairs. This is a this is a, a rival that is impossible to lose if you do it right. You cannot possibly lose to him. Even if you gen one miss. Literally. Like, you can't one-shot you with anything. I should be at at least 40 health, if not much more. Because, actually, no, I didn't take any damage, I don't guess. I might have taken some. Wait all the way until I get to where I only have to use Thresh three times. That's the basic of the rule of thumb when doing this is making sure that you only have to use Thresh the minimum number of or the minimum number of times that it, that's guaranteed to go through. Kind of showing everyone I know how many steps everything is. So <laughs> not everything, but most things. Um, and then pray I don't miss. 90% accuracy, but I shouldn't miss. Uh, now it doesn't matter. Elixir. The stairs. The 
that wall, get this elixir. Get this wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine down. Hit that. And then I'm gonna hear it. Click. Okay. Start down down A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so one, two, go down. I'm gonna go up so I hit this wall and then you can just get to the turn on like that. Now I have a safety net heal right here. So it doesn't matter if I miss, but I hope I don't miss. Not missing, typically good. Yeah. Yeah. Missing missing moves is overrated. Two, one, two, three, one, two. That is one of the smoothest transitions I can make in this game. One of the smoothest. Mind if I sneak in another donation? Yeah! Heck yeah. We get $20 from our own sex rex that says any other frantic googling noises. Radicate fans in chat? Radicate! National Dex number 20. Yes, Radicate's good. So what I did just now is I taught Horn Drill over Rock Slide. Okay, so here's another menu. One, two, three, swap. One, two, three, four, five, six, swap. One, two. And an easy way to remember that is like, uh, Glalie's national dex number is uh, 362. So I incorporate the uh, ghost menu with Glalie. That's another way that I try to teach people how to do this blindfolding. Is to use things you already know, like like I, like I mentioned with the Radicate. Like when I said Rad Radicate national dex number 20, I got the entire national dex memorized for the first few gins. So, oh. that's why I do. Let's well, see what. So how many gems you've recognized or memorized? Wait, say that one more time. I can't go over the game. How many gems did you have memorized? Um, guaranteed three and s probably four and five. I, I want to say 525. It might be 520. I've. I know it's. I think it's one of those round numbers, though. 530. 530. Okay. Well, 525, 25, 530. Okay, 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 okay. I knew it was one of those. It's all good. Okay. Here is where you guys get to see X accuracy. So basically, I use it and abuse it. What a great mechanic. Oh god, yeah. That's what makes this so much easier to run than any other version, any other generation. It's a grand slam! Yeah. Literally, aluminum bats in the MLB is basically what this is. And I'm pro I don't know how many sports fans we have in chat, but in MLB you can only use wooden bats. So, because aluminum, the ball bounces off just way too hard, so most of those guys can hit a baseball like five, six hundred feet with an aluminum bat. Just an FYI. I 
I know picture Greg Maddox did it once where he was like, on his own YouTube channel or something. He was showing everyone just reason why. He's like, even he was a pitcher, he could still hit it 500 feet with uh, an aluminum bat. My opinions do not reflect the opinions of Midwest Speedfest or any of its affiliates, but this, in my opinion, is the worst music in the entire game. You're not a fan of Lavender Town? Nope. You may be the only one. But that's okay. Oh, well, I like Jintu. Jintu music sounds good. I like the Gen 2. I just don't like it. Like, to me, it just doesn't sound good. But, my favorite music in Pokemon, period, is the the SS Aqua. I think it's SS Aqua in Gen 2. I'm trying to find the bicycle, but it's fine. Okay. A, pause it. One, two, three, four. We get a four, five. Okay, so our repel must have ran out right there. That's not good, but it's fine. I can recorrect that. Okay, this guy is what what prevented me from getting a sub 215 in my world record run. And I took an extra like three, four minutes on him alone. Do not glare. Good. Okay. Um. See, it could have done that in my world record run. And I would have had a sub 215. Okay, so yeah, um, one of the things in Fire and Leaf Green is there was a guy who wanted to, um, let's see, uh-oh, hopefully I don't die, we'll just go in, we'll just go in, if it dies then, you know, that's just bad luck, we'll reset it, but um, so Fire and Leaf Green, I actually did a race with a Twitch um, streamer named Odin Bjornsson, and 
we raced to Misty Blindfolded in Fire and Leaf Green. Um, but, unfortunately, I forgot that the menuing was messed up. So, the items are on the right side of the fight menu, and the Pokemon's below it, and it's different, and I had not played the game. I was like, I'd still be able to do it, even without knowing the game, or not have done it in, like, you know, a long time. Never speedrunning it, blindfolded. Um, so, um... One of the things that, so I was like, oh man, so this is, I, I was like, I man, I should have prepared for this, because <laughs> I would have smoked him, but I was like, I'm sure I can do it without, you know, ever practicing, and everyone's just like, dude, imagine had he, like, I had a lead on him too. Um, let's see. Only use agility. Flawless execution, let's go. Okay. <sighs> but yeah, he, he ended up beating me because I I got a little too I guess you could say it, um a little too cocky, and I was like, I can do this without practicing. Okay, so start. Um, down, down, A. Uh, down, A. There we go, use Ether. The Ether you saw me get beside that last in Route 25. That way we can use two horn drills here and three on Giovanni. So um A down A Up A up A. We're gonna bubble beam. Because bubble beam will kill. But, for some reason, it won't kill Marowak. But Marowak has a base speed, I think, of 40? Maybe 45. Base that speed. I'm not saving any of these spots because as long as I don't mess up execution, I can I cannot lose the fight. Okay. Um, so. And X accuracy will be right there below bicycle for the rest of the run. First Giovanni, so we're trying to figure out how Giovanni knows who we are since we didn't fight him below in the in the rocket uh, hideout. 
or the rockets, <laughs> you know, the game corner. I was like, wait, how do you know me? He must be a psychic. Two, four. Okay, get this. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. Okay, good. Six, seven, eight, nine. Should take me to floor ten. Well, for some reason, they're hiding two goodies. A whole bunch of goodies. They stole them because they're evil. Yeah. They just leave a rare candy just laying around in a TM26. Heck yeah. None of our poison types can learn these moves. And, um, and we'll dig with Squirtle. Get out of here faster. And then we can, uh... Like, are we over? To Snorlax. My favorite Pokemon. Okay, so start the menu. Um, A. Uh, down, down. And we're gonna go one, two, select. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, select. And use pocket loop. Da, 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 da. I know. I'm not American Idol material. Bye, Snorlax. You were enjoying your nap and I woke you up because I had to get by. Reminds me of me a lot. Where I'm just casually enjoying a nap and someone has to wake me up. For I don't know what reason. Also, hands free gaming. But no, it's the, um. Like, if I hit B on the slope, you can see the bike stop. And now I have to hit now. And Rappel will run up here. And then I'm gonna do Earthquake Menu. Start. Down, down. A. Um. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, and teach it over thrash. And that's earthquake. Placing thrash with stab earthquake. Yep. Literally the most broken move in the speed running. Without any modifiers, it is the most broken. Oh, that's right, go to the right, not the left. One, two, one, two, three, four. I didn't go far enough, did I? I went too far. There we go. I went to the side of the house. Crap. I accidentally hit B. Instead of A. I know where A said on the controller. I'm not gonna bicycle here because I wanna make sure that I get through this. This is literally like my money. Start, okay, so um, I should be at items. Six. Running that. 
one, two. One, one, two, one, two, three. Hit that wall. One, one, two, three, one, two. One, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Now 10, 11, down. There's a lot of counting. I'm gonna normally do this on a bike, but I just wanna make sure I actually do this. Actually, now that I think about it, I should be good to do it here. It should be fine. Safari Zone. Start A, down A, A, down, down A. Defusia City, where we just were. I'm not sure exactly where this runs out. so many times and I don't know. Because I just do it blindfolded. Okay, so... Um, we'll just do Earthquake. Earthquake kills me almost everything in here, except the hit now. We'll save before hit now. There's a small chance that hit now could, uh, crit. Confused. It's not fun. So. I would ask how many Gen 1ers there are in the chat, but. You know, I won't be able to see until, you know, after. usually not a problem, but in case it is, I want to save. What makes it no a problem? Oh, um... So basically, I can't one-shot it with Earthquake. And what I was saying earlier was with, uh, it can use, like, Confusion, uh, Psychic, and it could crit critical hit us. And that's not fun! And you get critical hit by this thing. Hopefully it's just like poison gas or something. Okay, there's the attack. Okay, no crit, good. Okay, so, um... Let me just earthquake again. So basically... One, two, one, two, three... We are gonna die in this fight. 
And that's actually part of the speedrun. He's actually dying here. So we're gonna die on Weezing. Because it's apparently faster. Which is fine for me. Because I should easily die from self-destruct after taking that uh, psychic hit. Or confusion, whatever it was. Doesn't matter. I'm not sleepy, I'm just practicing my yawning. LOL. Wheezing. We're gonna go down A. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So, I actually have to attack now. Um, Thunderbolt? There's a self destruct. Perfect. You are 29 minutes and 8 seconds behind at Koga. Blowing yourself up to lose. Yep. That's exactly right. Smart strategy by Koga. It's so funny though that the AI is like, yeah, I'm just gonna die. And that's gonna work. I think it's funny, but... Talk to this guy. He's gonna give me strength, because apparently he dropped golden tea into a safari, and no Pokemon just picked him up, or stomped on him or something. And here's the menu I was talking about. So... I'm gonna save, even though I have backup um, save states, I'm gonna save here. So, we go items, um, one, two, use that, one, two, one, rare candy, two rare candy, three rare candy. Gonna go all the way down to the bottom. Three, four, five. And we're gonna teach Strength the Squirtle in slot one. So it's more accessible because you have to manually uh, do this more times than you have to do Surf. the palette. Down in. Okay, so Squirtle from this point on is a little bit difficult when you're trying to surf or dig because you have to navigate uh, HM menu. Into this random abandoned mansion. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Start. Um, I'm 
gotta go, uh, if I remember this, uh, down, A, um, see, we're at the top of the menu, so, one, two, so right here's repel, down, A, down, A, 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 okay, I'm back at the top of the menu now. Did I not hit? Did it not go off? I could have sworn it went off. Okay. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, wall, wall, pick up blizzard, um, actually we'll do that later, um, over, Six, seven, hit this wall. Two, three, one, two, wall. Two, hit that wall. Activate that door. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, wall. I'm not sure how much more I've got of this repel. Because of my extra steps I had to take. I think that might have ended repel. But I can't use another one. I've got to keep going on this. Yep, mini reset. Okay. That might be easier though. Mini reset. Oh, wait, I tossed... Hang on, okay, so... Um... Right, I, so we'll go to um, X Accuracy, um, Repel, and then like, I should have tossed the uh, Repel, but I guess I did. what to do, what to do. Let's go to the bottom. Eh, it could toss awakening. Is this still not picking it up? Hang on. Wait. Oh, that's a save. Okay. Hopefully I didn't accidentally throw away something important. Um, start, let's go, um, up, A, down, A, down, down, A. <sighs> That's ridiculous. I'm gonna heal because I don't like red bar. Set, but I want to make it sure. Well, 
let's go. On a bike. Pokédex. Oh, it's safe. That's right. It's safe. Yeah. Well, the menu. Crap. So, oh yeah, because I cut already. Yeah. I don't know why I did that. Um. Ah, oh, I forgot to teach Blizzard, but it's fine. I I win this. Um, let's go. Pretty sure I win this one. Yeah. That's how powerful Needle King is. I can't fight her yet. Okay, so. And being over leveled. Oh, yeah. Start down, down, A. Um, all the way down to the bottom. Oh wait, that's the master key, never mind. Start A. Okay, so I'll loot out the bomb. That's cancel key TM14. I'm pretty sure. Nope, that's right. No, it's right candy, it's right candy, I forgot. I pick up her candy. That is three, four, five, yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. That'll be the last move we teach. So, you guys don't have to sit through that anymore. Okay. Now the speed run begins. Oh, oh my ass was like a pin cushion. Oh my god. I'm a 400 pound man sitting in a chair that's made for up to 400 pounds. So, uh, yeah. Right, so, I use Earthquake on those because, um, Earthquake is actually guaranteed, um, Blizzard is, uh, 90% accuracy. But it chaos tangles, so. And I gotta explain this because most people are like, where's the other part of the music? You are 33 minutes and 24 seconds behind at Erica. 33 minutes behind, okay. So, um. Yep. There's the item. So, um. Down A. Up A, down A. I'm gonna do this first so I can make sure I don't screw up. Start A, 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 down, down. Okay. So, when you end a, end a battle on a certain frame, it does that for some reason. Where the music is slightly off. I don't know why. Okay. So, now I'm in the gym, these questions go kind of weird, because I have to answer them, yes, no, 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 yes, no. So I hit A to start the text, and I spam B to go no. I don't know what the questions are because I don't memorize the questions. I just know how to get there, basically. That's why when he was reading off, like, what the characters say and stuff, 
very few characters do I know because other speedrunners say it. Like, the youngster on uh, Route 3 that is the uh, red attack in uh, Ekans. They call him Shorts Guy because apparently he says something about shorts. Someone will, I'll take anyone's word for it because I honestly never really saw it before, probably, but I've never paid that much attention to it. Apparently, a more a better translation of the original text would have been: "Shorts are nice. Shorts are nice and easy to move around in. Why don't you wear some too?" Ah. Blaine is a little bit tricky, so what I want to do is I want to go uh, down a down a use X accuracy. and then I want to go um, uh, up a down a earthquake. Now, horn drum. Everything else. You are 33 minutes and 55 seconds behind at Blaine. Basically, the next four gems aren't going to be that, uh, that much different from one another. It's basically going to be about the same time it normally would be because there's like literally four back to back. Um, I must save here because let's see. I'm pretty sure I remember this, but I don't want to get it incorrect. One, two, three, one, two, one. One, one, two, one, two, three. Down. One, two, up. The easiest gym leader of them all. Quite literally. And what makes Sabrina so easy? Because every one of her Pokemon have such horrible defense. So, guess what we have to use? Uh, earthquake? Yep. And it KOs everything. And it's 100% accurate. <laughs> Or as Mr. Burns says, excellent. I can't do his voice. Hey, sweet. Assuming anyone, everyone here knows who Mr. Burns is, is basically a character from The Simpsons. The evilest of evil bosses. Yeah. And yes, I am that old. I mean, The Simpsons is still on television. Oh my god. I didn't know that. Oh wow. 
I knew it came on, I just didn't know if they were making new episodes still or not, cause... Yep. You are 34 minutes and 25 seconds behind at Sabrina. crazy because like I was I was raised in the 90s so it's kind of like I grew up in the 90s sorry it was it was a kind of interesting time Better than donating for a good cause. We're gonna X accuracy because nothing one shots my choke, so. So, we gotta corn drill it. Because of that, we can Blizzard Machop. It's only one down, or one up. Here we go, A, F, A, and then Horn Drill. Someone smells good in this house. Someone came in the house. Something smells good. I have that spidey sense nose. They say when you take one sense away, the others compensate. Oh, yeah. People are like, man, your sight's already horrible. I'm like, I know. Like, I have to wear contacts that are literally, like, some of the worst. I shouldn't have any problems here. He is technically the third easiest gym leader. But the only time this situation arises where you die is usually if you're red bar. Because for some reason, everything dies to Earthquake. Do I know why? No. Because most of the ground type Pokemon also share a typing that is weak to ground. Rhyhorn there, rock, weak to ground. Yep. Dug Trio is just extremely fragile. It's a glass, it's a complete glass cannon. All speed and attack, nothing else. Need a queen poison, weak to weak to ground. Uh you need to your There we go. Crisis averted. I thought I had right enough. On. I guess I don't. I guess I don't have enough. But it should use like stomp or something. Let's do this then. Um, uh, 
down A, um, one, two, three, four? Should be, that should have been Elixir. I was hoping not to use a leap, sir. I'm trying to figure out what happened. Oh, I, t I it took me two hits to take out Nido Queen, that's why. Mm -hmm. You are 35 minutes and 38 seconds behind at Giovanni. much harder than people put it. And the reason I'm doing this, and I know most people are like, why are you healing? You don't have to heal. Venusaur? I can miss the range on it, on with Blizzard, and... I die. And it's not fun. So start. Uh, down A. One, two. There we go. Of course that happened. I knew that was going to happen. Thunderbolt knock it out. Okay, I can. I'm not used to Blizzard, but... And that'll obviously knock out him. A hundred percent knocks out him. And because of this level up, I have to use another one on Growlithe. Um, and the reason why is we lose our gym badge boost. I don't know what that means on um, on level up. And we need that speed that we got from that in order to outspeed Alakazam. A, um, I'm on... Thunderbolt. Earthquake. And here's where I'm talking about. This right here is not always a one shot, and I don't know why. Was. Let's go. So I didn't have to heal. Eleven six three, but my bike makes it hard to count. Uh, 
Last time we hit the surf, so which is pretty cool because we only do it twice, so it's convenient that it's right there at the bottom. I think I ran out of repel right there, but it's fine. Um, I'm not gonna get on bike. I need to know. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this cave is so difficult with a bike. So here, start. Let's go down A. Um, I should be at. No, I'm not. Uh, one, two. Up uh, A. A, A. So now I'm gonna go. One, two, three, four. Wall, wall, down. Listening for one push, four pushes, two pushes, seven pushes, two pushes, one push, one push. This one could technically go more. But not one or two. And I want it to land right there so I can actually know if one, two, three, one, two, three, four. before the end of this run. I would love that. I also would love that. Don't forget, coming up after that, we have Ness underscore with Bug Snacks, all legendary Bug Snacks. Got a control run by Bucky, and then Psycho Nuts too by Kinky Kings. And then if we can get to $2,000, our mystery run will be revealed. Get those donations in. Incentives where we can hear the Jack Black song during Psychonauts 2, as well as the two pit wars for control. Cool. 
as we get close to the end here, a reminder that Midwest Mini Fest is raising money for Children's Cancer Research Fund. To donate, go to donate.midwestmidwest.com or type exclamation point donate in chat and follow the link. Additionally, Ch Children's Cancer Research Fund is a 501c profit charity, meaning if you live in the United States, your, your donations may be tax deductible. And furthermore, you may, your employer may match your donation. To learn more about the Child's Cancer Research Fund, go to childschildrenscancer.org. Actually, that's not what I was supposed to do. That. I don't want a bike. I got one more trainer. I got a pass. I cannot face them. The super potion, I think. A down A A A. Now we can't mess up when we're buying full restore. body just gets stiff like my neck just gets like stuck in one place and it's just like ugh. It feels horrible. I don't know why I did that but You are thirty seven minutes and fifty one seconds behind at Elite Four. Okay. So let's just do this then. It's not four, it's two. Well, the good thing is, I have all my items full, so I would know. It would not let me buy anything other than full store. Okay, here we go. And we're into the Pokemon League. We have to save here. have to save because this dugong can one shot us and that's not fun. Reason I saved, or reason I healed and saved. Will you please stay down? Oh my goodness. Okay, so down A, down A. Pretty simple. Oh my god, he used rest. Oh my okay. Um, up A, A. Wow, every speedrunner wishes they could do that. Whenever they, um, they're doing like a non blindfolded speedrun, but it's like, they just YOLO and hope they don't get the Lorelei. They hope for the rest, but the, they never get it. I always seem to get it. We'll just horn drill everything because her Pokemon are too bulky. Like most of your, like a lot of your water types are very defensive in this game. Let's 
water has honestly been kind of an imbalanced type for all of Pokemon's history. Yeah. Like, I myself, my favorite type is um, Steel type. And I love, like, the defense. Like, one of my favorite moves is a fighting type move called uh, um, Body Press, I think, or something like that. And it's it does damage based on your defense. And there's a lot it of... Is body press. Okay. Okay, I just want to make sure because I know um, it. That was one of the moves that I used to get uh, top four at a regional uh, once when I was. Um, no, 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 not 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 a regional. But, uh, what's it called? Um, oh, bloody heck! Um, no, it wasn't a regional. It was at Wasteland Gaming. I forget what it's called. Uh, I got top sixteen at regional once, but that's about it. But it wasn't a video game. Uh, okay, what am I doing here? A dot A. Okay, up A A. Just a horn drill to death. Ow. Yeah, uh, Body Press is a really good attack, in, in my opinion, because you can do, um, um, what's it called, um, Iron Defense, double your, def double your defense stat, and then just have, like, a, if you have a, like, a Steelix, or, uh, like, even a Mega Agron, which is one of the coolest things that you can do, but, like, a like even, like, a Steelix with 200 defense, I think. So, with perfect IVs and everything, it would be a 220 defense at level 50, and then body, and then you go iron defense, body press, and you're just dealing a massive amount of damage. And it hits fighting type, so it's so stupid. It's so good. Yeah, it's a, one of the more interesting strategies. To, I honestly like the move in itself as just a way to make defensively minded Pokemon more dangerous. Oh, yes. that's That was my whole idea with it. We're getting close to the end of this run. Get your donation in, donations in, folks. I think it's 16 Which because... Between... Oh, no, go ahead. Let's see. I think... Yeah, between this and... and Bug Snacks to so get those bids in for the controls. So we also need to get to 2,000 to unlock our bonus game. Yay! Or to re reveal what it is. And just like the rival in Gen 2, the bonus game is three question marks. I I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But, uh... Whatever you say, Silver. Wait, I was talking about like in the video game, it's uh, he says his name is three question marks. <laughs> so that's what I was referring to. Um, up A, down A. Cool. I forget about the chat, the uh, red Gengar spray. Yes, I'm saving before every single gym leader. Or not gym leader, Elite E4 member. Even though Bruno is free. Literally free. So, we have two more to go. And Lance is the most dangerous in the entire game. Lance and his Dragonite. Well, his Gyarados is the, is the one that... Hydro Pump can crit knockout. Oof. Yeah. 
And that has ended more... Ask any speedrunner in this game. Like, that has killed more runs in E4 than any other, like, any other thing. Like, Lorelei, yes, if you're going for, like, world record, you make it that far. But if you're just going for, like, a PB or some kind of... Usually you can make it that far, and this is usually where it, it dies. Because you don't save normally. But I do. I don't think I took any damage, so I'm just gonna go straight in with it. And then when we get the champion, I'm gonna eat I'm gonna leak serve the four champion. Okay, if I get crit, I die. Okay. Okay, one, two, A. I should have lived with 50 or 60 HP, so I thought about that. And then I'm gonna X speed on the next one, because it always uses agility. So, um, I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six because we tossed that? No. Wait, did I? Oh, no. I, okay. I used, okay, 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 okay. One, two, five, six. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I used Earthquake. Okay. So... Seven. Seven should be it. Okay. That's what it normally is, but I forgot if I threw away the, um... Oh, no, that's right. I threw... I, I remember. I, I threw away the another item. So... Perfect. Okay. Back to Aurora. Okay. This one can die to Thunderbolt. So why not? And then everyone that watches my uh, channel would be like, Wobbuffet, that's why not. Because I say it so many times. That's one of my favorite jokes. Get those donations rolling in, guys. Come on. Donations get that hype. Show karaoke your money. I love this music. I don't know why. Dumb A, dumb A. Okay. Wing attack's perfect. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, that's right. I didn't heal. Okay. Um. Down A. Okay, that's... Okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's what I forgot to do. The full restores I bought. I'm such a... I'm such a genius, you know? I hear the red bar and I'm like... Forgot about that. Okay, so start down down A. One, two, three, four. Okay. Ah, nope. Three, four. I don't know how long it's gonna take, so. There we go. Now it's the end of the game. Let's go. 
Okay. Now we're safe. This is basically free at full HP. But not even kidding. how to edit in like this. If this could have easily been sub two minutes, uh, two over thirty minutes. Easily. Oh my god. But Weedle had to pull shenanigans. They forced me to go all the way, like this, for the, to to be an actual run. This is ridiculous. All this is like pressing A and B. Gotta wrap up the plot. Yeah. the The only good thing about that is shaming the rival for not giving enough loving care to his Pokemon. Time is on Hall of Fame screen. Yes. Well, hang on. It's not yet. It's uh. It's, oh, it's the end. Yeah, when the when it fades to white. And well done. You did Pokemon Red any percent glitchless blindfolded. Goal time in two hours, fifty-seven minutes, and ten seconds. You unfortunately did not get a new personal oh best. My God. You were behind by 40 minutes and 50 seconds. Every one of my subscribers on uh, on Twitch, I do this. Uh, I'm getting to where I can do like at least one or two uh, speed runs every week. Um, I'm gonna be once I'm done with Crystal Custom Starter Alakazam, I'm gonna go into uh, uh, prepping for the uh, any percent glitchless, and I'm gonna do that for Crystal and Gold, and then I'm gonna jump to Gen Three after that. Um, but other than that, um, uh, shout out to uh, just all the people that have ever, you know, s sponsored me, uh, all the companies that have sponsored me, let's see, uh, people that just, you know, hang out with on a daily basis, uh, I'm not really good at stuff like this, so. <laughs> it's all good, and I appreciate you submitting and, uh, showing off this excellent blindfold yeah. run for us. I, I, I was, I, I'm so happy to be here, like, doing it for a good cause, and I, I love, I love good causes. Right, and thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. <laughs>